that went down through Khartoum, through the, the slums and, and the, the fields at the side of the Nile. All the folks in the brickworks uh, would get to know me and they go, Hello, crazy English, how are you? <laughs> Say you must stop for tea sometime and just have a conversation. And it's just a lovely way to get to meet local people. Uh, occasionally, I'll take a camera and uh, take pictures of them and show them the pictures, and they were delighted by that. And that was just a very nice thing to do. It's something I'll always remember. What do I think about when I'm running? Um, I usually think about what's what's ahead and what's coming up. Uh, which way am I going next? How fast am I going? Am I on time? Could be something whether I should shelter behind somebody or try and catch somebody. But I'm going as hard as I possibly can. I very rarely daydream. <laughs> yeah, just focused on the race the whole time. After four years here in New York, my family went back to England, primarily so my daughters could get their education in the English system. But uh, that left me very much alone with a. With a I was looking at buying a, a rundown house just for something to do. I ended up in the running club and found that filled all my time. And the rewards were the, 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 the social group that, that came with that. As years went by, more and more people would, would come along and say how it had inspired them to do something. Maybe they weren't doing as much as I was doing, but, but they started going to the gym. They started walking the stairs instead of using the elevator. They started walking from Penn Station instead of getting the subway that last part of the journey. And they were all trying to do something because I wasn't some guy in a magazine that, that, that I was just a colleague of theirs, and I was just a normal guy who was never sick, was um, didn't seem to get tired, didn't seem to get stressed out. Although I can assure you, I have been in the past. I did it again. I'll do it again uh, this coming Monday, and I'm doing it because. Several people from my club are going, and I just thought, well, I'll just go with them, and it'd be a bit of a road trip and a time out together. Um, I just felt, I felt that anything was possible, and uh, I guess it was about 70 miles into the race when I actually started to think that maybe uh, this was all going to go uh, reasonably well. But you know, you just got to keep running.